About six years ago, there was a bit of a tragedy in the family. I lost my wife. And afterwards, I was in a little bit of a vacuum and I sat there thinking, what on earth can I do now? Because we're, we always did everything together. And uh, then I saw your name, the Florence Nightingale Hospice, in a, a magazine, applied, actually, and passed the interview and became a driver with them. I've been doing it coming up to six years. My favourite thing of uh, being a volunteer with Florence Nightingale is, is meeting people and talking to them and finding out about them. Being on your own after 50 years marriage is pretty difficult. Uh, so, I mean, many times passengers say to me, it's very nice of you to do this for me but it's two-way situation, they're helping me as well and uh, they, they're taking away the sharpness of, um, uh, of loneliness. But working for Florence Nightingale is a pleasure and a privilege and it's wonderful to be a member of such a fantastic team. I think hospice care is probably the most important thing. Twelve months ago, I lost my son-in-law, age 55, and he was looked after so, so well during the, the latter part of his life. And uh, if I can just put in my two penneth and help people, I will.